Got this, man. Great. All right, thanks. And you're alive. Cool. Oh, man. All righty. Welcome to Demon Souls Consumables Only, where I will be using only consumables. Hooray. Um, all right, I'm ready to go. I'll have plenty of time to talk about stuff. So here we go. Uh, three, two, one second. Oh, all righty. Yeah, I'm about to be ready on that. No problem. Yeah, hopefully you guys are ready for the ultimate experience in Demon Souls. Alright, three, two, one, go. Oh man. Alrighty. Step one, skip the tutorial. Alright, so it starts off kind of the same as any other run. Which is nice. You just mash start, try to get the dialogue skip in the beginning so you can instantly get the next seal binding and run straight to the first archstone and then loading screens although i've upgraded to ssd life so you know you guys will watch a lot less cutscene and by that i mean at least two minutes less of cutscene uh, but here we are just running unfortunately there's not like a ton of consumables in this game, but there is enough to destroy every boss. That's all that really matters to make this run possible. I don't know, I use my feet to break that, hopefully that's cool. I remove my equipment. Get hit by that dude. <clears throat> Um, really the biggest thing about this run is knowing how to dupe. If you don't know how to dupe in this game, then this run would not be possible. Or it would be possible, just stupid, <laughs> insanely ridiculous. So we'll be doing a lot of duping. Hope for the arrow to do. Hey, what do you know? We got the we got the miracle shot. Ah, uh, I already ruined my menus. I forget that if this game, if you've been playing this game, it has like I'm not exactly sure the memory of it, but uh, like say you just did a play and then you just do another playthrough without turning off your PlayStation, it has some memory for where your menu start on your next start of the game and so all of your menuing is thrown off by like one or two slots because of however however that memory system works if I knew more about it I'd explain it better but I don't it's just annoying is the best I can say about it so we gotta pull that lever so we can unlock the boss um yeah so we can unlock the boss, it's exactly that. And here the duping begins. Since we picked up some fire bombs, we're gonna go ahead and set up the next seal binding glitch and to give this guy some fire bombs, and he's gonna nicely make an infinite amount of them for us. The reason why I started as a thief is because you automatically start with throwing knives, so that way I don't have to go pick them up in the world. And so that just helps out, save some time. Even though throwing knives aren't really out of the way, but, you know, it's nice. And also, I started this thief because it has the highest <clears throat> amount of luck, and I actually will be leveling up luck in this run. One of the two runs possibly needed to level luck in this game. Yeah. 
and first boss is weak to fire, as are many bosses in this game. You'll be seeing that pretty soon. Mm. I know there was used to be the the old method for duping, which was talking to the blacksmith first and then walking over to Stockpile Thomas, but it's now been found that you can just kind of dupe similarly to the dupe in Dark Souls 1 by like doing an animation and then activating Nexial Binding during an animation and then pushing Start to cancel out of it and it sets up that negative overflow glitch to get you infinite items. Oh no, let me get hit again. Let me heal just in case. This guy didn't go to his home with the phalanx. Dude, he's still trying to get my attention. That guy wins an award. Persistence. For sure. Alright. Boss one down. So, most bosses are... I'd say relatively quick. That's... I mean, I'm using consumables where... Consumables don't scale with anything in this game, which is this the biggest bummer. Like if they scaled with uh, they scaled with anything or scaled with the fact that I get like the clever rats ring which is similar to the red tear stone ring like but they have no boost if you have items. Ugh, rings. I can't talk. Jeez. All I did this morning is drank a ton of coffee so um, my mind is racing. But now we have to go do the hardest part of your first playthrough, which is talk to the Monumental. And I guess for the sake of a marathon, I'll grab this Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. <laughs> this man needs some whiskey. Yes, I do. But I have to go to work as soon as this runs over, so maybe not. Um... Alright, time to do the 4 1 skip. One of the skips you'll be somewhat familiar with, another one of the skips probably a little less familiar with, but here we go. I'm gonna do it till I get it. Ah, oh, dog. Well, oh well, could have been. <laughs> oh my, this isn't good. Ah, <sighs> oh well. I'm just going to use all this grass, because I still have a lot of level to run through, so... So typically, I didn't want to come from that angle, but... I'm going to heal up one more time, just in case this guy hits me. Alrighty, so... Oh, dang it. That was my bad. I'm not used to picking up the stone up before my eyes, so I didn't realize it was gonna overtake my soul remains. So I'm gonna use the soul remains. Over here is the adjudicator shield, which is the shield that heals you like six HP per second. It'll be useful when boss fights take forever, so instead of having to pick up every healing item ever. Um I kinda of figured that was gonna happen. Oh, dude, why would I do that? Alrighty. Ooh. This could go bad. Alrighty. Okay. Oh my. It never ends. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that's totally awesome. 
I'm not even mad right now. <laughs> uh, I'm a little embarrassed, but it's fine. Is this a good time to read a uh, Yeah, every time's a good time to read a donation. <laughs> Alright, All right. so we have $14 from Bugs without any comment. Thank you. We also have $20 from Cole, so raise the sun. Bro. We also have another $20 from just the memer with that one. Say, time to donate. What am I doing? Wow. <laughs> I mean, I knew I was low in health. I should have just put on the adjudicator ring or, or not the, adjudic the adjudicator shield. But I was hoping for the best with fall damage. Didn't work out like I liked. But hey. Look what we get to use. Man. Well, unfortunately, you didn't get to see the cool alternative skip in this run. Because I died. Uh, Alright. So, we're going to try to set this... Or we're gonna miss it. And we get hits. Alright, so there's a strategy. We're trying to set it up. Fuck. Had it. Alright, one more try. Well, I'm gonna do this till I get it. God, dude. Just relax. Oh my god, please relax. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Cool. I know, like, so my average death for this run is one. <laughs> like, oh, I've done this run. We're already past that. Yeah, we're past that. I've, I've yet to die. Uh, grab a moment. Can you uh, turn me up on this program? Because that's up to something new. Really, 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 really oh, that's up to me? Yeah, you actually have to boost me inside your Discord. So, uh, Alrighty, um, I'll try to figure that one out in a second. I'm cool, bro. Wait, okay, so how do I Discord? <sighs> really, man? Can I only go better from this point? <laughs> What's up? Can I only go better from this point, right? Um, well, it can. I'm just a little embarrassed. I didn't realize the nerves were going to get the best of me in this run. Welcome to 4 1. You shouldn't see it that much. It should have been over about five minutes ago. But I guess I can't really think of it like that. And hopefully. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Alrighty. 
so... What the throw? Why didn't I roll? <laughs> Alright, how do I do Discord? Let's just do that. Um, just right click my name uh, inside this channel and just boost me up in the volume. Okay, go ahead, keep talking. I'm talking. Alright. I'm still talking. Maybe that's better. It should be better, and if chat wants it louder, I'll tell you, I guess. So, be quiet. Oh my god. <sighs> well, so what I'm trying to do is I found some sweet new strats just the other day to completely manipulate Adjudicator into being a really easy fight. However, I'm clearly screwing up the setup a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Just gotta keep cool. Alrighty, let's uh I don't know what he does right away, but Man. Alright, dude. Let's get this. So you're gonna chop. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna fall again. Man. I want this strat. I know I could just be throwing stuff at him right now, but I found a really cool strat. And I'm gonna use it. This might be good enough. It's not. Dang it. Okay. Yay! Alrighty. Let's move on. <laughs> so anyways, if you are standing on nothing, apparently it de-aggros him, and you can just freely throw throwing knives at this guy. <sighs> Let's move on. <laughs> I just found this like, I don't know, four days ago, so it wasn't, I didn't really have a <laughs> proper setup, I just knew how it worked. If not, you just have to like spend all day <laughs> just throwing these knives into them. I've been, since I started doing this run, I've been finding quite a few amount of like super cheese spots for most bosses. Which is cool, but unfortunately, like the super annoying ones, like man eaters in the lawn, I haven't figured out the best strats yet for. Oh yeah, I mean I totally super far behind my splits, but that doesn't matter. So, even though I died to adjudicator twice, which clearly proves that it's the hardest boss in the game, you can just do this to him. Alright, so after I kill this guy, I have to go pick up the uh, kunai, which is poison throwing knives essentially. And then I'm gonna warp out of this place. But it means I need to definitely pick up this uh, soul, so that way I can warp to this later. And since I know how this run's going so far, we're gonna go ahead and pick up another stone of ephemeral eyes. First try. First try, every try. Oh, goodness. What a run. Alrighty, so let's, let's get out of here. I'll split for that plus eight minute split right there. So I should have enough firebombs to carry on to the next worlds.
man. <laughs> you know what? I'm picking up these just in case. I feel like I feel like everything can is gonna go wrong this run. It's gonna be awesome, so. This run or this level is really kind of annoying. Since I can't really uh I don't know, using consumables in this level kind of sucks, is all I'm saying. All these little uh, depraved ones or something can really kind of ambush you, and it's frustrating. What? I've never seen a guy there before. Oh well. It's alright. Marathons. Always something new. That is not the next button. Well. So far, we didn't get plagued, so that's good. And the guy with the stick is supposed to come down, which he has Avisite threw the second Soul Remains in the wrong spot, and I threw the third Soul Remains in the wrong spot. Whatever, let's just go for this. Wait a second. Typically we can run past this guy. Okay, good. So that went that went pretty smooth. Happy about that. Pick up the grass for fun. Yeah, OG Blight Town. That's where we are. Alrighty, time for some more cheese. So everything in World 5 is weak to fire. If you stand right here, you can throw these through little planks and it should deflect all those little leech balls. Um, the only thing that stinks is like you inch forward every time you throw a firebomb, so you just need to make sure you back up. Uh, nah, it's yeah, I was getting kind of close, but it works out. <laughs> Hooray! Leechmonger down. You know what? I'm gonna grab this. Whatever. Definitely don't need it. So there was another amazing cheese strategy with consumables. Um, the next boss, Dirty Colossus, I found another strategy just last night that we're gonna see if it works for more than one day in a row. But I've been I've been finding new strats for all these bosses pretty much every time I do another run of it. I mean I chose doing consumables only because I figured it'd be the most different approach to the game I've taken. I mean usually just you know picking a different melee weapon you, it feels exactly the same as almost using any other melee weapon and this game is pretty limited on magic and faith spells. So there's not much to it. I will be leveling up twice in this run, so I'm going to use these souls when I can. Hmm. I have one donation. Oh yeah, go for it. All right. We have five dollars from Mrs. Bad Example saying that tactic was worth the wait. Awesome job, Square. Save those kids. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Alright, I didn't see where she was. Alright, she's on my booty. Let's go. That black that black phantom can uh, can ruin her day as well. But so we we went out of the way in this level to pick up the cat's ring, and the cat's ring is gonna be vital in skipping a few areas in this game. And the cat
cast ring is similar to like Fall Control and Spook and all that in the other Souls games. So we'll be using Fall Control glitches and Cat Ring glitches. But the swamp you just run through. Um, I guess I didn't point it out because I'm so used to just running through, but uh, the reason why I'm toggling between one-handing and two-handing in a swamp is every time I toggle it, you actually get a quick boost of stamina. So I think that actually applied in Dark Souls 1 as well, but since you can roll in swamps there, it's totally pointless. So it's still only utilized here because you cannot roll in swamps in Demon Souls. Note to self, don't drink a gigantic cup of coffee right before doing a marathon. It just makes your nerves extra aware. Alrighty. So this is the worst part of 5-2, the town, where all the depraved ones are all out to get you. Shields are your best friends. Stamina management is your best friend. Yeah, that's... This guy is the real killer. Alright, he didn't do much. Purple's already out here. Okay, so... Like I said, I found new strats last night. We're straight up just gonna give it a shot again. <laughs> um, Alright, pick up this... For safety. So since I have... A bunch of regen stuff on. Oh no, come on, lock on. It was. Why are you not locking on? There we go. Wow, good job. So, so far it's not working. Let's get this set up. Alright. So, being poisoned isn't a big deal. But I will top. I will top off though. doesn't want to lock onto him, please. Thank you. Alright, we good. Oh my gosh. But it doesn't want to lock on. So I could just fight him normally, but once this strat gets going, it'll definitely save time. Interesting. What is... Interesting. <laughs> it's alright, we, we learn in strats live. That's how we do it. At least that's how I do it. <laughs> I'm not sure what poison cloud is getting hit. Alright, you know what? For you guys, we're going... Oh my gosh. We're going back to old strats. Yeah, that, that invisible wall wasn't there last night. Please. The reason why I didn't like doing this strategy is... Okay, so once... There you go. There you go. You just found it. So he has this random uh, like tick shot that flies out of him, or whatever you would like to call it. And it's triggered between like, I don't know, I think like every 12 and 18 seconds, it's just kind of random. Um, and it's hard to know when or where it's going to, that's not a firebomb, where it's going to be. The only way to avoid this shot is if uh, you don't break off all of his armor. And once you break off, oh no, that's not good. Once you break up all of his armor, then that that timer starts for the, the like the random shot. There we go. So this fight is I don't know, one of the worst. I I definitely hate this fight. In pretty much every run ever. That's I'm in a swamp.
should have him. Goodness. Okay, well that's over with. It's kind of nasty, but we got it. Right, so now we have to go back and refill. <sighs> Man. So one thing of note about duping with Stockpile Thomas is if you have... If you currently have said item have in his heart. inventory, you will not actually be able to dupe it. It has to be completely taken out of his inventory in order to dupe that item. Alrighty, time for some more cheese setups. Let's get it. My original strategy for fighting Garl was to parry all of his attacks and firebomb him in the face. And that was the only way to get full firebomb damage until I finally found a better strategy, which hopefully we will get to see. I don't see why not. Alright. So you wanna like No? No. Jerk. Alright. We'll get this. So you wanna push him up against this wall? Nope, no. That's fine, just get out. Um, I don't think I have any more heals, do I? No, that's fine. Let's just not get hit. Bro. Alrighty. The setups. Go to... He's not quite there, but this could work. Nope. Dude. Alrighty. I was hoping for the best. It wasn't in the right spot, but just getting uh, impatient. Ugh. Seems like this run is the eventual showcase of good strategies. So, uh, I want to. So whenever I'm throwing a firebomb at him, if I were to just throw a firebomb directly at Garl, it would, he, since he's blocking all the time, it would only deal 4 damage to him, which is, you know, nothing. And also, oh, dang it, stop bonking. Um, but if I hit him directly, where did my lock on go? I will deal 16 damage to him, which is, you know, amazing. Where? What? Alright. Ah, clearly I'm too stressed and tensed. I keep smashing this stupid lock on button. Go. Oh my god. Why? Why? Please go this way. That's not where I want you though. It worked though. You kinda saw what I was you might have seen what I was doing. Um But what I'm trying to do is put him in the corner and whenever I throw a firebomb at him, it actually is gonna like hit throw. Like behind his hitbox as opposed to hitting be hitting his shield. I don't exactly like where I'm at, but it's kinda working. I need to turn a little left. And luckily, fire staggers Garl. So typically, as long as I'm consistently hitting him, I'll be uh, be able to have time to throw another fireball afterwards. But if I keep missing like I'm doing, because I'm not in the right spot. Alrighty, so I don't like this spot because I can't really see how much damage I'm doing to him. But at least I can see that he's walking, so right now he's definitely taking 16 damage. This isn't exactly the strats, but you know what? It's working. Uh, and let's see. 
think it takes about 60 firebombs. Advanced AI, absolutely. Man. As long as I calm down before man eaters, I think we'll be alright. Because man eaters, if I like store roll off the bridge, I would I would cry. I missed what you were saying. Oh, uh, should I give a little update about the incentives? Oh, absolutely, yeah, update away. We currently don't have any new donations. But, um, the demon souls all bosses instead of 10% in the relay race is currently set to $305 $500. So if you want to see that happen, please donate towards that incentive, guys. Thank you. Also, we're closing into 6k, that's also really hype. Come on, I'm pretty sure we can make it happen on this awesome run from Square A. Let's go. Oh yeah. Let's get it, y'all. Boys and kids. Alrighty. Girl down. So I definitely need to pick up that uh, soul. What? Because... Because if I don't have a soul going past Tower Knight, then I will not be able to advance past Tower Knight. So we're going to do some leveling up. And then we're going to go fight Tower Knight and then farm for the last consumable. Because the last consumable in this game cannot be bought. It has to be farmed for. Which is silly. But So we're going to go ahead and level luck to 25. Because it seems fine. And then just I'll just put the rest in Vitality for fun. May or may not need it. Find out later. And time to refill. So anything I'm duping, I'm going to go ahead and take out. So that way I make sure nothing's in there. And then we're going to set up the dupe. And we will uh, do firebombs. Hey, circle, please work. And then we're gonna dupe ah, Kunai, poison throwing darts. We'll grab those, grab fire bombs. Wait. Should be at 99 of each. Alright. Now we're gonna go fight the Tower Knight. <sighs> but why luck? Okay. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if it's for the memes or not. But so Luck in this game, as I think all the other Souls games, it increases drop rate. And since we need to kill a certain enemy in World 1-3 that drops secret throwing daggers, we want to make sure the drop rate is as good as it can be. And I don't know, I've had the most consistent luck when just leveling up to at least 25. So 25 luck is seemingly more than enough. But really, anything's possible. We could be farming for, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully it's only one run through of the level, not a lot of run throughs. If you do find a short moment in run, it's impossible. Just a little bit more. Apparently, I'm still low. Oh, um. Alright, you are maxed out. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's a problem. I don't know if it's proximity on the mic or what, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just rambling. Oh, I thought I was gonna get it. It's worth a shot. Music. Alright, whoops. So ideally, you want him to move to a corner so that way it removes the archer shooting at you, but that's not always the case. And uh, if you hit 
the top of his body, it should deal like 75 damage. And if you hit the lower part of his body, it'll deal about 25 damage. So, of course, the strategy is to try to hit him towards the head as much as possible. And then just try not to get hit by too many archers. And repeat. World's largest hitbox. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, jumping back is not good. <coughs> mm, give me something. He's against the wall, so this should help out a little bit more with the archers, but it doesn't necessarily help out with what the Tower Knight's gonna do. It's still be annoying. Ooh, archer, nice. He just started going straight down. Alright. What? Nice. I don't even know. I've never knocked him down with into consumables only. So there you go, good to know. He still does the exact same damage, which is kind of expected. Yay. Spullets. Alrighty, so now we present the Archdemon Soul. And now we farm um, ninjas. I, I forget exactly what. I guess they're just ninjas in this game. And they will hold the last consumable that we need to get. So here's to luck. Um, do some quit out strats. If you quit out here, it reloads them in their after you run through this level position, whatever you'd like to call it. And so that's an easy way to just walk past all three of them as opposed to having to firebomb all of them a bunch. I rolled too far. Alrighty. First try ninja, please. A chunk of clear stone. Dude, why you gotta be like that? Okay, not first try. We have three more ninjas. Let's get it. Oh, okay, well one of them died. Nice throw. Nice double throw. This one should be good. It's just there. free aim for the win. All right, he dropped nothing. All right, good, got him. Um, so as long as I have about fifty, typically fifty fire bombs is enough to kill the penetrator. We have 56, and we can poison him. So we're just gonna go for it from here. The penetrator is a kind of annoying fight because he's really bouncy, so he can jump around a lot and dodge your attacks, and so it really can like start uh, wasting your fire bombs. But luckily, he's heavily affected by poison. Well, I say heavily. Poison is a st like a a set rate in this game, but for this run, since fights are pretty slow, it's worth it using the like four ticks of damage per second. 
Alrighty, the scariest part of any level, I think. Alright, we good. They could... Those guys can literally kill me, even with this much HP. It's really frustrating. Okay, so here's to uh, focusing and not dying to the penetrator. What? Rolls, please. Goodness. I don't even know where I was rolling to. Alright, so he's... I was about to say he's penetrated. No, he's... He's poisoned. Wrong P word. Um, but we wanted to jump away from these as, as little as possible. And right now he's doing a fantastic job about that. There, so he's, he'll, I don't, you want him to do that as little as possible. And you're locked into the throwing animation for a while, so really it's, you gotta be either really far away or careful about your timing as to when you load up a throwing animation. Hmm, I'm close. Yep. I knew it. So, play a little bit safer. It also helps to play the, uh, like the long, kind of like use the long side of the hall to fight him as opposed to the shorter side. So that way I have more room to back up. Ideally, a good fight would be only having to poison him once. Right now we're on that path. But if I have to re-poison him, then, uh, dang it. If I have to re-poison him, then I know it's a super slow fight. Obviously, all these fights are slow. I think the only one that's a reasonable speed is the Phalanx. That one's, like, just barely slower than the actual run itself. A normal run. That's bad timing. Yep. I don't know, I definitely... A lot of times I stay locked onto the boss for way longer than I need to. It kind of throws off where I'm at, just when he gets all, especially when he gets all jumpy. I think I'm just kind of saying random things out loud right there, but it would definitely help if I unlock sometimes. Like, there. <clears throat> Alright, so he's still poisoned. That's good. So it's a decent fight. The poison might even get him here. Alright. Penetrator down. So I could actually move on to Elant right now, but we're not going to. We'll keep him. We'll keep him as the penultimate boss because people seem to like that. Um, Alrighty, let's refill. Get those, and then we need to yeah. dupe the secret throwing daggers. Alright, so now Where off to the Flame Lurker. Yeah, um... Okay, just reading about that. So, the poison, you actually won't see a damage counter. Which is why I always get mixed up if it's 4 or 6 damage. I think it's like 4 and Toxic is 6 or something, but it's 4 damage per second. 
and the only way you can tell is if you are staring at its life meter and you'll see it's slowly depleting. I haven't found the best strategy for this area yet. I usually just wait for the dogs to come out. Alright, that works I guess. Or not. Nah. Well that was sloppy. Typically I can just parry him and roll past. However, I missed the parry, so GG. But hey, we made it past. No big deal. So now we're going to do the Armored Spider skip, which involves a series of loading out of the game. And basically what I'm doing with loading out is loading the architecture beneath me, because I guess I'm near the world 1 or 2-2 two, two architecture, and then falling off, falling through the world at a certain point, and touching part of the architecture in 2-2, two, two, and then it should load me into the very beginning of level 2-2, two, two, and thus skipping the Armored Spider fight entirely. And voila, and for the sake of it, there is the spider butt. Sorry for wasting two seconds, but my run's already like, it's still eight minutes behind. And most important part, which I forgot to do, because I was showing up a spider butt, is this is the first experience with the cat ring glitch. So just like fall control and all that stuff in the other so Dark Souls, if you quit out right before your body dies on the ground, it for some reason has like a buffer which it's like, oh, the last thing you did was touch the ground. And it loads you here. As opposed to it's just calculating instant fall damage. Just in case. And another just in case. So we want. The thief string off, please. And time for some more cheese. This boss fight can take a minute, just depends on what this guy decides to do. But what I'm doing is I'm locking onto him and then setting up a strat where I come over here. Please, flame lurker. I know you know I'm here. Bro. Oh yeah. So it's a terrible start, which I'm happy about. But hey, maybe he uh <laughs> Thank you. Gosh. So it usually goes smoother than that, but hey, you know, marathons. But anyways, you wanna get him over here and he'll usually run over there and I want to stay locked onto him just because it makes it easier to throw all the consumables at him. Um, so 11 kunai is usually what poisons him but you can also you can deal counter damage with poison and it'll I don't know it kind of equate to usually equate to um, like counting as like that's totally what I wanted to do it'll usually equate to throwing two hits or count to like as two hits so you can poison them twice as fast if it's counter hit man I cannot English bro whatever this is dumb but I'm gonna do it anyways I'm in your crotch. No. Totally didn't get the lock on. Oh well, free him. Yeah, 
Naturally, all the things that happen normally don't happen in a marathon. So that's cool. I've never done this before like this. Um, another thing of noting for like an enemy being poisoned is you'll see the giant purple cloud around them. And also, if you have your uh, audio up enough, you hear this insanely loud hiss. But since we have music on right now over it, it's probably a little bit harder to hear the hissing. Alright, yeah. So what's he got? So I'm gonna block. Oof. That's not good. Maybe, just maybe he'll reset? Okay. Every time he jumps, I have to reset him. So obviously, you you don't want him to jump. If he would just stay running straight at me, it would be, you know, super easy. So I haven't found that AI manipulation. I don't know if I ever will either, but who knows. So the more he jumps, the longer this run gets, and everyone gets sad. And that's not what we want to see. Please. Flame Jerker. <sighs> Typically once he hits his second phase, which is happening pretty soon, he'll uh... He either just runs or just punches the ground and he'll jump less, but I'm not going to say he won't jump because I'm pretty sure he will because I said, yeah, of course. But he usually jumps a lot less in the second phase. However, marathon luck. And a lot of times you'll throw a dagger and you won't even hear it count for damage. So you have to look at, you'll have to look at his health bar to see if you actually hit him or not. And as long as I have, um, I think, 12 throwing daggers left, I can fight Dragon God directly after this. So, like, those last three throws didn't, like, sound like he got hit by my daggers, but his health bar was still going down, so we're good. Alright, we're almost there. Oh my god. Why you gotta be like this? Whatever. Alright, I have 12. So, we're going for it. Hooray. So this, other than just needing, or like having the health refill of the Adjudicator Shield, I actually do need something to break the rubble in the Dragon God fight. And uh, a large shield actually breaks the rubble in one hit, so... I don't know, you can say run invalidated or I don't know what you want, but I just assume as long as I'm not hurting enemies with a shield, then it counts. best. Hooray. <laughs> oh man. But since this run isn't like, I don't know, nobody runs this so it doesn't really matter. Oh, whoops. Good job, guy. Yep. And since <laughs> I had it, but I, I wasted my second one, I'll uh, we'll just kill him with Kunai.
Alright, Dragon Gun down. Alrighty. Fool's Idol. Alright, time for some. Got a refill. Take. Oops, no. Wait, what? Kunai throwing dagger firebombs. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Uh, I was no, I don't know. So we get to do, we get to see two skips in this level. Yep, and Ridiel, you get to hear him grunting. So the more I fail the first skip, the more you get to hear him grunting. So if you like the sound of moaning men, then pray that I mess up the skip. Um, we're gonna defeat. These face suckers. Alrighty. Man. Next up, binding. Just, uh, quickly asking. Oh is yeah. My mic still really low for chat or. But yeah, you feel free to chime in about anything, whatever. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a restart, so I'll go ahead and boot up my stuff first, and then I'll play the missions. Oh, bro, get out of my life. I don't want to accidentally hit you with a shield. Almost free. Freedom. Jesus, that was exhausting. Alrighty, skip number one. Here's the either hoping I fail it a lot or none. Please help me. Oh no. Oh, come on, dude. Of all the ones, that was the easiest part. The reason why I had to quit out there is because the only way to go from there is to die. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I was I was supposed to be pointing a little bit more left, and for some reason I twitched it to the right at the last second, and then I was really sad. Oh well. I'm especially sad because I've been getting that skip really consistently as of late. I don't think I've missed it in a little while, but again, it doesn't matter. It's a marathon. I guess the marathon doesn't have to be associated with bad luck, but... So these are what I'm showing you now, is I'm showcasing all of the worst ways to do this skip. So should I have been like slightly in another direction, I would have just been able to quit out and do it again. <laughs> and it wouldn't waste as much time. But luckily I'm doing it the worst way possible, so I have to always next to binding and try again. So this is a, this is a good showcase. And we don't even get to... I mean, I guess we get to hear the, the Ridiel moaning a bunch still, so that's nice. We get to hear this lovely singing from the once royal mistress. Oh, okay. 
Okay, that's what I did wrong. Uh, I think I messed up again. I'm just gonna spam that. Are you kidding me, dude? Alright, hopefully it didn't count me as landing on that. <sighs> Gosh. What a day. Alright, so while you're trying to set this up, I'll try and read the final donation that came in. Go ahead. So we have $20 from Jehenius without any message. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh man. Please help me. I'd love to read yell, but I'm mildly in a hurry. Hey, what do you know? Alrighty. What a day. So that was literally every example. Oh, I lied. I could have failed the first part of the skip. I didn't fail the first drop. But that was pretty much every example of what can go wrong. Oh my god, this is great. Well, that was much easier. Typically, I do this skip without audio. Not because it's better, but just because I'm always listening to music when I stream. And so it was kind of nice having audio cues for that. <laughs> um, but that's where the cat ring is. So the cl not the cat ring, the rat, the clever rat's ring. So the clever rat's ring is a, is equivalent to the red tearstone ring in the other games. So whenever my health is below, in this it's uh, thirty percent. I deal fifty percent more damage. And so in our normal any percent run, in any other route except for this one, you will pick it up so you can deal a lot more damage. But consumables do not scale with Clever Rat's Ring. So, rest in peace, extra damage. Fool's Idol. Let's get it. We've got one more Black Phantom in the way, but it should be fine since I can hear her shooting at me. Um. Alrighty. So I'm actually going to kill all these worshipping draglings before I go fight the fool's idol because since I need to what the heck since I need to lock on to the fool's idol oh my goodness maybe it's two for one nice I'll take that since I need to lock on to the fool's idol to throw consumables at her it's just nice to get rid of this randomness Alright, so I can only hit her three times per cycle, and then I just hope for the best positioning. So what I'm looking for in this case is, I'm looking for the fool's idol that does not have a health bar above her head. That'll be... Wow, really? I mean, I'm fine with this RNG. There's a few different ways you can tell which one is which, but the one that I'm at the moment is the one that doesn't have a health bar. I guess it's not above her head. It's just... So you lock onto her, and then you don't see health bar. So that's the one. But also another um, indicator is she'll be the only one that shoots soul, uh, soul arrow at you instead of soul ray. Whoops. Alright, so yeah, I can tell it was her already. And as long as you hit her once 
before the other fool's idols shoot at you, then it'll stagger all the other fool's idols. Lock on, please. Not even her, anyways. Oh, where is she? Way in the back. It's gotta be. All right, one more cycle. Not That's the one. All righty. Let's get it. <laughs> Just So, off to everyone's favorite boss. However, we have a 6 minute trek in between that. For no reason at all. But oh well. It sucks. Every run, like ever, there's no use of going through this entire level. Like, I've yet to find a reason to play through this whole level. Oh, I forgot to split. Whatever. The splits, the splits aren't necessarily for knowing how fast I'm going through this run, it's just keeping track of what route to do, but I've essentially, I'm essentially in go mode. Once I have all the consumables, I'm in go mode. And I wish, I wish there was like a magic consumable. That would be cool, so you can just like throw magic at enemies, so fighting someone like the flame licker or whatnot would be a lot faster. But oh well. So I'm really curious as to what the man-eaters are going to do. Typically there's a way you can uh, manipulate the man-eaters, so that way no matter what I'm only fighting one at a time, but I'm curious to see what kind of really badness they're going to give me today, because the man-eaters AI is known to just be absolutely bonkers. Oh. Really gargle. There we go. Yeah, just stand back. Keep your distance. What did I just say, dude? Yeah, point blank's no good. Um, sure. Man eaters of hey, I know. Alrighty. Still a little nervous, so I'm probably, I'm just calling it already, I'm probably gonna fall off this elevator because I'm gonna like just get all, I don't know, <laughs> twitch happy. <sighs> Gosh. Hey, alright. Lock on aiming, yeah. Lock on is so bad if you're, especially if you're up close. So here, if I wanted to, maybe I can like use souls, whatever. But I have no reason to use them. Yay! All right, man, centipede central. Let's try to run through it without falling off these planks. That would be spectacular. Secrets. The secret throwing dagger. I don't even know why they're called secret throwing dagger. But I guess because ninjas, they're crafted by ninjas? I don't know. Alright, mind flare. Go do your thing. Alrighty, up ahead we're gonna do a quit out or load out, whatever. And what is this gonna do? It's just gonna set up an easier elevator cycle.
Uh. Alrighty. Ooh, because if you miss the elevator, this elevator is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a 20 second wait. And you don't want to wait 20 seconds when six gargoyles are chasing you. So there you go. We've set up the strats. If you want to see how a real man holds a shield, this is, uh, that's how it is. Oh, good. Good thing this wasn't any percent. I would have died. Uh, yeah, that's definitely who I locked on to, but whatever. Lock on in this game is atrocious. It's it's the best word for it. Really? I've yet... To, okay. <laughs> Come on. I mean, free aiming is fine, but the free aiming in this game is not that great. And also, you can't free aim using uh, zooming in on bows, which kind of sucks. Or the binoculars. Bows, kind of, but I meant binoculars. Okay, so the boss has been unlocked. It dropped this giant heart thing that's, I don't know, clutching this giant tower. I don't really understand the premise of this level. There's just a beating heart that's clutching a tower that whenever it falls it unleashes a bunch of men made out of centipedes or centipedes made out of men. I don't know. Whoever whoever crafted this tower and the men inside of it are weird. I guess the old monk is like a scientist or something. I'm not sure what he is. Okay, so it's essential to have Thief's Ring here. Essential. And it's also essential to be poisoning the man-eaters, because although if it's, if it's a perfect world, hitting the man-eaters with just firebombs is, uh, is faster, but since the man-eaters fly away all the time, it helps to poison them, so that way when they're just kind of running off doing their thing, like they do, they're still taking damage. And that's the, that's the real dream. Bro, oh my god, stop being so nervous. I'm gonna keep saying it, I don't know why. Are you gonna do the man you're fighting in a second? Yes, it is coming up right now. All right, I'll hold on with the uh... All right, fair enough. All right, step one, get at your throwing poison knives, the kunai, and typically, I think it's 15 of these will poison him, but again, a counter hit, um, a counter hit usually equates to like counting as two hits. It's my best approach for it, but there's no poison buildup meter, can't really tell which kind of stinks. So I'm just going to wait for a gigantic purple cloud to appear around him. What are you doing, bro? There we go. Alright. So he's bleeding. So now we're going to get up these firebombs. And... For the sake of this fight, in this instance, what I'm trying to do is uh, like stay. Um, mm, as soon as I'm about to explain what I'm trying to do, it just ruins my life. What is see the, the AI in this game is so weird in this fight. But what I want to do is try to keep him walking directly towards me as much as possible, so that way whenever he pounces, he stays on the bridge. I want to keep him on the bridge as much as I can. And so I'm doing this, like, stand in front of him, and then he'll dive forward, and then I dodge left, and then reposition myself. So since most of this fight is about keeping him on the bridge, that's what we aim to do. Alright, so the second one is here. This is where things get weird. What I typically do is I come over here, and I hide out. Um, now, this is where anything can happen. So it looks like the second one went running off towards the second fog gate. Um, 
and then the first one went to its home location. So if you have the thief's ring on or cloak on, what you typically can do is, I'll see the position of both of them. Uh, you can sneak past this guy and you can fight. You can fight the second one, which is probably running into the other fog gate. Yeah, he is. Okay. Please. And so, since he's poisoned, I'm just going to let the poison do its thing over there and just get some free damage. And I'm going to go start fighting this guy. So fighting him on the smaller bridge kind of sucks, but, you know, it works. So as long as I don't go in front, as long as I don't, like, stand in front of the other man eaters like, line of sight, he should not aggro. Also, as long as I don't take off the thief's ring, he shouldn't aggro. So, even though the man-eaters have really dumb AI, look at this guy. Where is he going? <laughs> like, even though they have dumb AI, they still can be manipulated a little bit in our favor. And so now it's just trying my best to not store roll off the bridge or get hit off the bridge. Which is scary fighting on the smaller bridge. I say that, but I knew that time I took the hit because I knew if I rolled, I was kind of towards way too towards the middle of the bridge, and I was scared if I rolled, I would have just rolled directly off the bridge. So I just took the hit going backwards as opposed to um, potentially rolling off the bridge. Mm, where are you going? Nice whiff. Oh no. Oh, he landed. Wow, weird. Um, what the f- No, thank you. Do not want to die. Oh my god. Man eater, please. Just be my bro for like one more day. Two more days. Oh no. Don't go over there. So unfortunately the poison ran out on the other one, the other man eater. But that's fine. We still got probably like a third of its health taken away just chilling. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Goodness. <laughs> Every minor roll that's not exactly perfect I'm, makes me kind of freak out. Dude, don't do this. go. So we should still be good on fire bombs. <sighs> Come on. And fire bombs actually do more damage than the secret throwing daggers. What see he was flying and then instantly <laughs> his flying attack animation ended up being a ground attack animation like you just don't know with these guys please <sighs> please please And they would, I would say they behave a little bit better if you take off their thief's ring, but obviously for the sake of the second man-eater, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to be fighting two of them at the same time. That is just something you want to avoid. Now this is nice. I don't know if they'll stay in this AI loop, but that would be favorable. 
Alright, it was worth it. <laughs> See, he, he was about to do a ground pound and then instantly went into the buff phase. Like, I don't understand. Alright, so... Oh, whoops, that was my bad. I don't know why I chose to do it like that. I just wanted to be fighting on the bigger bridge. Again, definitely at this point, using just firebombs would be a little bit faster, assuming a perfect scenario, but it's I don't trust them in that situation. Oh my god. Definitely a long fight. <sighs> Please stop missing. Please stop flying away. So yeah, again, poison. Very helpful. Because I've already missed like six firebombs in a row. Man-eaters are down. So let's go refill, and then now is definitely the most annoying fight. Unfortunately, it's getting to that point where a lot of fights kind of just suck. Because bosses have more health, and I don't deal as much damage. So, it's just what it is. Uh, Alright, refill time. And again, with the duping, I need to make sure everything that I'm duping is currently not in his uh, inventory. So I definitely have enough Q and I, but I need to dupe more firebombs and more secret throwing daggers. Um, okay, one down. Talk to him. Deposit. Secret throwing dagger. Shall I read the one donation? Oh, yes. Sorry. Go ahead. All right. No problem. Uh, we have $10 from Dark Fox without a comment. Thank you, Dark Fox. Appreciate it. Also, quick reminder on our challenges. We're going to be $325 in Demon Souls, all bosses, instead of any percent for the relay race. So if you want to see that happen, uh, definitely donate toward that incentive. Thank you, guys. Hooray, we are uh, killing these guys. No big deal. Firebombs actually deal the same amount of damage, and since I need firebombs for the boss, I'm going to be using secret throwing daggers on these guys. And we can't stagger the mind flayers coming up, so we're just going to do a little cheese strat to squeak by them. But if you kind of like wait in this corner, he runs at you to give you a friendly hug, and you run past him denying him, and then he's sad, and it's alright, it happens. Uh, but that's a consistent thing, so if you're afraid of this area, super easy. 
And then again, we can do the same strat, but we have to stand a little further away this time. So coming in for the hug, ba boom, head out. So okay, so this guy, you'll find out very shortly how annoying of a fight this is. But I need, I definitely need to poison him. Luckily, I think it's typically three kunai will poison him. He's, he's not feeling it. He doesn't want to be poisoned today. Bro. If he... Ah, there we go. Why is he not poisoned yet? He, he's like... I don't understand poison in this game. It is so inconsistent. There it is, you can hear it. Okay, so now that's over with. So now the fun part is just kind of like... There was a strategy I was messing with last night that I don't know how well it's going to work. But I actually got him to... When he was in this corner, for some reason he like de-aggros near the fog gate. And I've actually gotten him to the point where he just walks back to his starting position. Ugh, bleeding. That was the worst case scenario. I don't think I have any more dark grass either. But I was messing with the strategies where I can get him stun locked in a corner, at least for the first half. But eventually he does start shooting magic, which that phase is going to kick in pretty soon. I kind of want to heal up before that. Yeah, it's already starting. Um. Oh, I'm going to get backstab, aren't I? Yes, I am. GG. Alrighty. Uh, weird stored roll. I had one of those weird sideways rolls. So this fight, if it wasn't for poison, this fight would take ages. I mean, it still takes ages, but... But if you throw fire bombs directly at him, typically he just dodges them. And then we have the magic shooting at us as well. It's alright, it'll be, it'll be over eventually. And that's, everyone can rejoice. Ideally, only one poison cycle is, is a, a good a good fight. But again, anything's possible. All right, we got the five. Five magic bullets shouldn't kill me with this health, but I'd rather be mildly safe because these fights take forever, and I don't want to do them more than once. Alright, I think he's... yeah, he's still poisoned. You can hear the hissing. Weird roll. Alright, so yeah, you can hear the hissing has stopped, so the poison's over, but... He's pretty close to dead. Sadly, none of these chairs are unbreakable. If they were unbreakable chairs, that would be amazing, because then you can just cheese them into some chairs. He's dodging. Pro dodging. He's pro dodges. Seriously. <laughs> oh my god. 
Well, I hope somebody's enjoying this, either laughing at me or laughing with me. But it's definitely getting to that point where he's dodging so much, I, I should have just like repoisoned him. Why did I lock on? Yeah, look at that lock on. The lock on's gonna be no good in this fight. Magic out of the way. Just uh Wow. And the corner strats work good for the first half, but after after the first half, when the magic is out, hang out in the corner kinda sucks because you usually just get hit by all the magic. So, if for some reason I ever wanted to do this run again, beyond this stream, or beyond the marathon, then I'd have to find a better strategy for this guy. Oh my god. And I'm bleeding. That's glorious. That's what we wanted to see. Maybe we can... Chair for the win. Did we get him? Alright. Ugh, goodness, it's over. It is over. <laughs> Alrighty, on to Storm King. Let me refill. Actually, I don't think I need a refill for this. How many? 80 QI, 81. Oh, I'll refill just in case. I'm gonna go fight the Storm King. So it's gonna be Cat Ring Skip version 2.0 and time to learn something fun about the Storm King which is he's not that bad to kill at all in consumables only. So um, phase one, put on Cat Ring before I forget. The menus in this game are awful and I have yet to learn how to be good at the menus in Demon Souls. I'm just really bad at menuing and also landing cancels. Come on now. The bad RNG. Alright, so we fall off this ledge here. And... Boom. So now we will load out of bounds in the Storm King fight. And then we just walk to an area. We walk to the fog gate that loads the Storm King fight. And boom, we are there. So for each Storm Beast, it takes two kunai to poison them. So ideally we would like to hit them twice before they attack, and then once... Lock on! Change! What are you doing? Once once I hit them twice, I just move on, because they're poisoned and it doesn't matter anymore, and I let poison do its thing. Um, and once you kill six storm beasts... Bro... I mean, sometimes there isn't 40 of them attacking you at once. I guess there isn't really 40. There's 12 of them in the fight. But it seemed like all 12 of them were after me at one point. Oh my god. Am I actually going to have to, like, heal? Who's coming? Lock onto this guy. <laughs> Please lock on. I am dying. I do not want to die in this fight. Just saying. Goodness gracious, man. Alright, lock onto the guy that's closest to me. That's how lock on should work. You know. Could be wrong though, I'm not a game I'm not a game programmer. Alright, you're 
poisoned, so I don't care about you. But you hit me, so... <sighs> I believe six of them might be dead, so the cycle's going to start pretty soon. Why? Oh my goodness. Alright, notice me. Well, this has gone way worse than anticipated, but hey. That's been the whole run, so that's cool. I'm in good spirits about it. Hear anyone? Okay. Where's all right? So I still haven't killed six, which is sad. I have, I have gotten a two cycle on this boss. Please, just thank you. So like, <laughs> thank you for finally hitting him. One of these guys is getting poisoned. Alright, you're poisoned. Storm King's on his way down. This is when all hell breaks loose. If we can hit him five times, that'd be good. Alright, at the very least, Storm King is poisoned, so we can still continue to take out these Storm Beasts while we uh, while we wait for the second cycle. on change change subjects please ever never it doesn't want to I'm getting hit no big deal so you can in a perfect fight you can two cycle him so you'll poison him well, I guess it'd be three cycle you poison him on the first cycle and then you take out half of his health on that cycle that just happens and then you can kill him right now. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Plus there's still a lot of storm beasts alive. Usually they're all dead by now. Oh wow, that's totally what I wanted to do. Lock on. Also, the more storm beasts that are alive, the more annoying lock on is. I didn't even. Whatever. Okay. So, hopefully, we'll get him. If not right now, the poison should take care of him. <sighs> okay. For some reason, trying to move lock on to his tail, it just selects his head again, which is the furthest thing from you. <sighs> lock on, please. Poison got to him before I could. Embarrassing. Alright, I can totally just next little binding out. No big deal. Sweet. Okay, so two bosses left. We have Mr. False King Alant himself, and then the true King Alant. Thank 
good. This is a nice time to read another donation. Wait, yes. Where are you going? A Fifty. All right. I'm gonna do those. Go ahead. We have twenty dollars from Panda Squadron sixty nine saying, "Hey all, I'm a big fan of speedruns for charity and a big fan of the Soul series. Keep up the good work." Thank you for your donation. Uh, also, a current update about the incentives I do not have because we're still on three hundred twenty-five dollars for Demon Souls all bosses instead of eighty percent for the relay race. So, if you want to see that happen, definitely donate towards the incentive. Thank you guys. Okay, ninety-nine, ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Oh, gosh. Alrighty. Oh, Thief's Ring. I should have switched Thief's Ring when the last boss was dying. It's okay. My PB is already over with, so PB is not not the concern. <laughs> Getting this run done is where it's where it's at. Okay, so that worked out. This guy should come running down. Okay. Look like they're gonna throw fire, but it's all right. We were good. So you want to get this cycle just right. You want to be running before this guy takes off, so that way you can dodge his flame up here. It looks scary, but it's not that scary. Alright, so one more long boss fight left. You know, just for fun, I'm just gonna chunk this. I don't even know where it's going. Nope, I was supposed to hit that other wall. <laughs> I didn't turn enough. So there's one more donation that came in. It's $10 from Anonymous saying, Here we go, Square, show Alon who's the swaggiest. Oh man, you. you got it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I guess if we're going swaggy then, I'll have to take off my shirt. Nothing says swagger like taking off clothes. I don't know that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Get some more donations if Square decides to take his t-shirt off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't need fire bombs. Heck, we don't even need those. All right, we gotta wait for the fall gate for some reason. So we're gonna do that. All right, it's typically it's another 15 kunai to poison him, but again, the more counter hits, the better. Stored rolls, love them. So that counts as counter poison build up. Jeez, I love the rolling in this game. So I think. I don't know. I like fighting this guy locked on. Because, um. If I stay locked onto him and I typically try to get him to dive straight at me, it, it kind of eliminates him running around in circles. So like a lot of times he'll do a dash at you, but if you're not lined up straight with him, he'll kind of just do really weird dash and dash cancels. So I find the more time you spend locked up directly in front of him, the less weirdness you get from him. 
Um, I mean, that, I'm not saying like you have to lock onto him. I'm just saying like lining up straight with him during these like during this animation especially. Like I know the dodging kind of sucks, but there's there's better strats for like speed. This isn't really. This is all about just making sure I can control the fight as much as possible. Like I want the. I want the fight to be in my hands, not his. So. I would say this run has been more about finding consistent strats as opposed to uh, speed strats. Because I'm not going to be able to just unleash all these. I can't just like mash square and launch as many consumables as possible, even though I wish I could. It's not the case. So it's been... This run has been a lot of fun, like, learning a little bit more about the AI in this game and how, like... For one, it's, it's pretty simple, but also it's, you know, there's some com some complexity to it. But it is still fun just purely manipulating an AI to do what you want just by moving to a certain location. Whoops. Totally threw that one late. Uh, this guy, two poison cycles would be great, but typically I've had to do three. That was an early roll. And yeah, pretty much as long as you touch him while he's charging up that AoE, he'll stagger out of it. And it does count as the counter hit, which is nice, so I get a little bit more damage. Yeah, the the swag walk is absolutely what I love. So if he just did swag walks and uh, charged AoEs this whole run, that would be amazing. Run would be over in no time. I don't know what else to call that walk, it's just like, the dude's just straight up gangster walking at me. Oh. I'm just curious, somebody asked why you're not even fireballs, I'm kind of curious about that as well. Um, because the damage is the same, and it's also slower. Well, it's not much slower, but he, he typically dodges them more. Ah, makes sense, exactly. I mean, I can throw a firebomb if you'd like. Sometimes the launch is just having a field day. Alright, so now we have to repoison him. Please uh, donate towards Ooh. Square, throw a fireball at Wolf King a lot. <laughs> exactly. That's the new incentive we came up with right now. Only, only five dollars. Not even that. Fi only five cents. Okay, so let's do five dollars per fireball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Five dollars per fireball. I like it. Oh, he's already poisoned, dude. Heck yeah. Those are some good hits. Oh no. Oh no, this could be bad. Yup. Alrighty, let's get out. Let's just sit back, relax. Oh, I don't even have a heal, it's good. So I can't peach heal. I'm happy about that. means I have to focus and play the fight correctly. Oh my god. That was a really weird sound.
Hey, somebody named the Raging Mech donated 20 bucks saying, just wanted to say thanks for everyone for putting this together, the runners and everyone who donated. Put, uh, put this towards the All Bosses Souls Incentive. Thank you so much. Oh, and we got another $20 from Anonymous saying, it's not much, but 20 US dollars for a 360 no scope last hit firebomb. I know you can do it, Square Cat. Alrighty. We're running low on secret throwing daggers anyways. But we should still be good. Bro. Alrighty. I wanna make sure his poison runs out. Which it should pretty soon. And then I'll switch to firebombs. And then I gotta make sure your last one's a no scope. Ugh, okay. I knew that was close. Alright, poison is out. So let me just make sure. Oh yeah, I took off the ears. Ah, I was thinking too much. Oh my god. Nope. Oh, I'll throw in for my good measure. so bad. Stop! I want this fight to end. Ugh. This is why I don't like fire bombs. There we go. That's good. That's good. Let's go. Yo, I'll take it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get out of here. That was insane, nice job. Alrighty. We did it, y'all. Alright, one more boss. So the last boss is pretty easy. He gets stunlocked by fire. Typically gets stunlocked by fire. Um, I don't even know. I guess killing and saving the maiden is up to my choice. I know typically killing is faster. Well, killing is faster. It's not typically faster. But this one's already slow. Maybe I'll try to all no scope her from the fall gate. And if I hit her, I hit her. I don't know. Throw. Alright, so this guy should be stunlocked, and I don't know if there's anything else to read, but... Oh yeah, rip sub 2 hour, it's fine. It's close, but sub estimate, which is the most important part. Other than stupid, <laughs> other than the start of the run, it's gone. it's gone pretty smooth. I mean, some boss fights didn't really cooperate as well as I'd like, but nevertheless, the run went overall. Decent. Yeah, I should read, but I do want to point out that this one was really, really good. Despite the time, it was just an awesome watch. 
Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah. The I like how two or three of the strats I found, I, did, I literally just found this week. Just, I mean, I didn't ever do this run until I tried it for the marathon. And every time I've done the run, I found new strats and found new like cheesy ways to beat bosses. So it's pretty cool. I was I enjoyed this aspect of Demon Souls fighting bosses differently than I've ever had before. I mean, it's slower, of course, so it's not always fun, but, you know, learning more. Yeah, no, quality. This is what happens when you can stunlock bosses with fire. It's great. I don't really know why it's so easy to stunlock bosses in this game. Whatever. Get it? Alright. Got her. Alrighty. And, uh, yeah, I guess it's time. Nice job, GG. I guess we can skip the credits. Okay. There we go. So, thank you guys. That was fun. Hopefully, you learned something new about Demon Souls. And uh, yeah, there we go. That is consumables only, unless you don't count me breaking rubble with a shield, then I'm a liar. So I'm sorry. All right. Thank you, Squareway, for this awesome run. Yeah. And with that said, we're going to throw it over to a brief intermission. We're also going to switch hosts, so stay tuned for all of that. I don't. Yeah, thank you guys. Okay.